Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rover. This is your Rover loving buddy, Dan O. Yes, how the hunk are ya? <laughs> hey, today we're going to be talking about Matchbox Collectibles. Uh, yeah, this is quite an interesting series. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot of feedback from you folks to kind of let me know what's going on. What you see before you is what I have. I've got uh, two in the box, and I have uh, two loose uh, of the same um, uh, models, unfortunately. There are more, though, and uh, once again, I've gotten some information. I've got my information from... Uh, BAMCA, they have a whole uh, a section that you can go and take a look at, and that section is called 143rd Collectibles, Matchbox Collectibles. And uh, yeah, so if you want to check that out, go right ahead. We're going to take a look at the bottom of this one. Uh, you can see years of yesterday, or um uh, Models of yesteryear, excuse me, I'll get it right. Oh, and talking about that right away, I'm going to put a link up to uh, about the one I just did of this little bugger, which, uh, if you don't remember, is the Dinky slash Matchbox. So we're going to talk a little bit about him later on. So right now, the spotlight is going to be on these models right here, the models of yesteryear. Started in 1994... Um, and I believe it, it was this one here that came out first. And uh, let's just take a quick look at the box. Now, mine say they came from uh, Kmart. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Kmart, $9.99. This is, I did buy this in the store at the time. Now, the box says that um, this is Mattel 2001. So I don't know if that's a, a re-release or what. 50 years of uh, Matchbox 2002. So I'm, I'm a little cons you know, uh, confused on that. Um, but Matchbox Collectibles is the series that they came out. So uh, BMACA, uh, uh, they say that uh, there's uh, quite a, uh, a different times when they came out. And um, so they say that this one... 1994 and I'm not really sure what's going on but anyway here's the box that it came in vintage fire collection and uh, they're a little blurb you can read that later and uh, just a really nice box uh, all cardboard and then you can see that they uh, had a series of punctured holes that they could punch out and uh, put through um, wire plastic covered wire to uh, mount the uh, models down. So anyway, according to the BAMCA, this model came out in uh, 2000 or 1994. And let's take a quick look at the trailer because this is the only trailer that I have. And um, they don't really roll all that well. They're kind of stiff. They are a rubber wheel. This one's got chrome uh, rims on it. Uh, it's not a bad, it's metal on metal. It's a pretty hefty little thing. Uh, yeah, see, this does say 1994 on it. Uh, so I'm wondering if they repackaged it to uh, sell it. Um, and there's, there is, this is a two, two different pieces, uh, like three pieces. There's one, the topper, and then two, the actual tub, and then three, the the base there and uh, why I mention that is because uh, later on uh, they mess with this trailer and they do some more stuff to it but uh, most of the time um, it only came as with the vehicle so we're going to set that down and uh, let's take a look at now this is a full-fledged matchbox model and uh, once again, they, they don't really roll all that well. These were meant for older collectors. You know, they weren't really meant as toys. And uh, 1994, as it says. And that that's the um, 
<clears throat> the model number there, YFE02. And uh, this is a re representation of a 52 Land Rover fire engine. And uh, chrome wheels, uh, rims on that, rubber tires, all metal construction pretty much, the metal base, metal body. And as you see, there is a uh, crack here or a line. And so the top is a different piece there. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But it comes with, now all the accessories and things like that are plastic, uh, except for this. I think that's, uh, no, that is plastic too. Yep, that's a separate little piece that gets sandwiched in there. But uh, yeah, uh, 52. So eggs on the grill there in the front. Very nice. I like the tread pattern on those, on those wheels. Uh, extra hosiery up front there. Um, very nice chrome trim around the uh, windshield. Uh, all the doodads and stuff are, are chromed or painted gray. Uh, tie downs and hook straps, hinges. Uh, you know, the framework was, you know, normally stainless. They weren't uh, chrome, but a nice touch there. Flap, flat, flab sides. Very nice there with the uh, galvanized, uh, you know, uh, trim pieces that put it all together. But they added they added some extra liberties there, chrome around in the windows and stuff like that, just to kind of make it fancy. Oh man, look at the business end of this now. Now it's got the uh, PTO shaft pump pumps here, and you can see where you can hook your uh, your hoses up to it got the gauge cluster here so control that pump so that's kind of neat kind of neat very nice details there like I say it does have the hitch for the the trailer it's got the uh, reel of hose in there that doesn't move but a nice reel of hose in there uh, chrome uh, roof rack ladder thing there and uh, nice nice little uh, ladder on there uh, it's got a spotlight, and I'm assuming that that's a bell or a whistle or some kind of siren or something that's up there. So uh, they, none of these parts move or anything like that. It's a, it's a static model. So uh, very, very nice. Um, I'm trying to see inside there. I think, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a right hooker. So there you go. I like how they kind of, uh, you kind of catch some of the, uh, this uh, depicts a uh, cloth, you know, uh, canvas type cover, you know, it's kind of uh, wobbly there, but uh, very kind of, very kind of neat. I like that. It's really neat. Uh, I'm glad I have two, you know, one for in the package and one we could take a look at, you know. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Uh, so the next one. And and that uh, was in night and so in the in the uh, Matchbox collectibles, that was 1994, and that was under the International Fire Engine Series number one. So that was the classification. There was like three or four vehicles in that series. Okay, and so 1996 came out the regional models, and um, there was a uh, a Land Rover London Dairy Brush Fryer um, Brigade, and that was yellow. Um, it was yellow, but then it had like a, a white top on top here, and then it was yellow, and and that was very um, 1996. That I don't have that one. That one's very hard to come by. It had a decal on the side that talked about the London Dairy Brush Fire Brigade, and it was limited to 3,000. And I believe that one came in uh, with the trailer. So it was just like this, just like this, but yellow. And, but the, the top was white, and it came down the backside was white. So uh, very limited. Uh, I'd like to hear if anybody's got that one. That one's uh, limited to 3,000. Pretty neat. All right, so we're going to move right along, and um, 1998, the International Fire Engine Series, number five is the next time these guys showed up, and um, it was uh, uh, 
1998. And I have uh, YYM35188 was the model. And uh, that was, um, as far as I know, uh, this one here. It was the rescue vehicle. And uh, that doesn't come with the trailer, so I don't know why I'm grabbing for a trailer. We're gonna hook this bugger up here, and uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't see. Yeah, I can. All right, there you go. So it was this model here that came out. Uh, once again, just kind of generic. Uh, I got to be careful because my model uh, they they missed hooping it down to the. Uh, base there but anyway uh same again kmart 9.99 i think i bought these at the same time really to tell you the truth so i don't know uh really uh what came come of it but uh once again you see 2001 like i say i don't know if what i've got is like a repackaging of uh the whole thing or not because this kind of looks like the same thing as before okay so uh there you go not really not really sure not really sure they don't uh, go into much details as far as you know the packaging and stuff like that but anyway um so now in um this is the rescue vehicle no no trailer to it um now this does say a royal navy um and this thing is exciting just exciting there's a lot of stuff going on here and i hope yeah see this is got to be careful here I don't want to lose my antenna here that's uh very delicate they got a lot of neat and delicate parts and pieces on this so i i've got to be careful i already lost a uh a front uh wing mirror there and this one's already about to come off so i i wish i had uh they came on a uh a uh, plate that you could uh so here now if you can see that it says 1989 1994 and 1998 so what i think oh yeah i lost another piece the side mirror came off are you kidding me where'd that come off at unbelievable Maybe that was from a different car because that doesn't look like the side mirror for that one. Anyway, sorry, back to the story here. So what I've, I, I have here is um, uh, the rescue vehicle, Royal Navy, rescue, first aid. Now they have got a lot of neat things on there. Uh, once again, it doesn't really roll very good. But let's just start with the front. Well, so the front has got this uh, moving part here. And uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I can't decide where to start from. We were looking at the back. Boy, someday I'll be able to edit these videos so they make more <laughs> fluid. <laughs> Jeez balls. Anyway, look at the extra details that this model had versus the last one. And uh, now that I hooked that trailer up, I want to show you. <laughs> but it's just, you know, superb difference and just a couple of years, uh, the same price and everything, but just they, they uh, as things went on, because um, this is kind of the first model after the, uh, the dinky uh, model there, you know? And uh, so anyway, yeah, so uh, very nice detailed, uh, you know, the oil pan, correct, you know, offset pumpkins as, far, you know, like a real Land Rover. Uh, I'm not sure about that bend there, but yes, that uh, muffler on there, exhaust, you know, and this is just added stuff because here, that was on the other one, uh, but just uh, really neat where they could add more of these details on there, you know, and look at those tires. Yeah, you know, they're rubber and uh, they are chunky and ready to churn up some dirt. All right, back to where we were. We were going to go look at the front end here. Now, this is a movable part here. It's got a little winch to it, a little rope, really very nice. Uh, like I say, these are not recommended for children. These are uh, collector's uh, items. Uh, the winch with uh, uh, more of a barrel, not a capstan winch. Uh, nice bull guard on there. Uh, take a remember that bull guard because it does show up on another model, obviously one that I don't have. 
It's got a little axe in there and everything. I mean, that's this pretty sharp. They've got, uh, you know, I had the mirrors on the front. Let's see if we can get closer here or, or not. It had mirrors on the front, and then it's got the ropes. These ropes are not uh, flexible, but they go where the spare tire was, and you can see a little clasp thing there. But they still did details on the hinges there. There's an added antenna up front. Very, very nice. Uh, horn. Um, the other one didn't have horns like that. Uh, there's an additional box. Now, notice now this is different than the, the other one. Uh, this has got an added cabin on the back. The other one was just kind of like a pickup cab. This is more of a pickup cab with a larger cabin thing on the back. So they, they uh, you know, have the main body and then they add the roof and things like that. And just a lot of different stuff. Look at that first aid with, a, I'm assuming that's a fire canister there. Here's another uh, extinguisher there. Uh, Ralph's lunchbox and uh, some other things. Uh, beacon, very nice little beacon up there. Another, I think that this, um, because this is a right hooker again, I don't know if you can quite see that, this is a right hooker again. Um, I believe this is a hatch, so uh, the fireman or the rescue person can uh, stand up and look around and uh, move that spotlight around. Look at how big that spotlight is there. Big honking thing. And then also there's some uh, side lights here uh, that I think you can move around. Another, I don't know what in the world that is, a big bell or whatnot on there. Just a crazy siren thing. I'm not sure what all that is. Uh, it has kind of the same ladders as the other one, but a different hook up there, you know. Got, uh, I don't know what this green thing is here. Ralph's bed pack, I'm not really sure. Body bags, I'm not sure. <laughs> all right, anyway, get here to the back. Nice details on the uh, mud flap. Here's another roll here that's attached to the body. Some other canisters and, and uh, containers that, with red handles that they can pull out. Uh, some more, I'm not really sure what that would be, pumps or not. Another control panel there. Now it does have a trailer on it and they did do another model that's similar to this with a bunch of garb on it. Uh, like this, this is just loaded down, just loaded down. And, uh, but uh, really, really cool. Uh, shout out to Gary uh, uh, Norman. He, he was talking uh, about Oxford model. They did an Oxford model. And, uh, and apparently Gary was in the, the uh, Navy. And he remembers uh, in his last video or one of his videos, maybe I could tag that up there, uh, about uh, uh, traveling around and the, the mud flaps grabbing on, <laughs> grabbing on the... Uh, uh, scrape it on the ground because they, they were so loaded down but good times he said but anyway uh, hopefully I can tag that video of him uh, talking about his uh, Oxford models but there we go this is just an outstanding model uh, just really love it but that's the two I have uh, so let's talk a little bit more um, in 1999 also they did um, the the uh, they did one like this, that um, the first great uh, uh, 4x4 collection, they went back and they did one by this color. And it was different in that it didn't have the tan on the doors. Uh, it was a different base to it. Uh, they had chunky the, the chunky tires on it and stuff like that. And uh, it was really kind of cool. Um, so that was one of the other ones um, that they did and uh in 1999 and uh the other one that they did was uh in 1999 they did a, a great um fire engine series special edition and i believe that's yyn 36400 and it was the 52 uh land rover rescue vehicle it was like this and it was <laughs> dead if you know ron white and it came with the trailer and the trailer uh had no top to it and it had a, a metal rack kind of like this one and it was blue it was a blue scheme and uh and but it didn't have it and it was chucked full of stuff and it had 
uh, raft on top of the trailer. Um, I believe it had the chrome wheels and everything, but it was just, it was an awesome, I would like to get that one, uh, just, just an awesome uh, vehicle, but it was, uh, uh, yeah, the Fire Engine Series Special Edition, and, uh, you know, the just great. I mean, they, I think they had more stuff on it than this did, plus it had the trailer with the rack on it, with the, with the, uh, uh, raft on it. The only other one that uh, they listed in uh, years of yester or models, oh, I can't even remember what it is, the models of yesteryear um, was the evolution of the 4x4, the great outdoors. And um, that was uh, like this one, uh, just came by itself, no trailer. Um, and it had uh, Great Outdoors was a series, and it was red and black. So it was red, but then on the side here it was black, and it had a uh, depiction of a little pheasant, uh, pheasant, and um, a uh, pointer hunting dog on it, and very kind of neat. I think those were kind of uh, popular. If you were just to Google that, it would show up, but. Uh, uh, didn't really, I don't think it had the, no, it didn't have the roof rack. It has a light bar on it. So there was a series of lights that would go across the top. Uh, still had the uh, chrome wheels, I believe. And uh, yes, but it had the chunky, chunky style wheels. But it was uh, UK Pheasant Club is what it was, what it was called. And it had that written on the side. So it was red and white with the black side uh, with that on there. So, uh, and then I think, I think they even had a little brown dog in the back. I've only seen pictures. Of course, it wouldn't have all this uh, fire contraption on it. I think it had a winch or something on the front. But that was it, 2000 even, 2000 even. They did the 1948 uh, UK peasant, no, pheasant, not peasant, pheasant <laughs> club. So there you go. That's interesting. Uh, what do you guys have of these? Uh, like I say, these are the only two that I have. It, they're very interesting. They're um, just a delight to, to own. And, and the, all the stuff that they put on them is just neat. I'm going to have to do one more video, I think, and just kind of show you the difference between the, uh, what I was calling it, the dinky matchbox bastard child to the actual pure matchbox collectibles 143rd collectibles but there you go that's what i've got for the matchbox uh collectibles in uh what is this 143rd scale i think they they call that i now i changed my notes so i can't remember yeah uh 143rd scale so do you have any of these uh these are kind of dime a dozen but yet they're not and uh they call for a lot of price uh, for a premium price, especially the ones that got all the uh, trinkets on it, and then some of the special edition ones, like the the one three thousand of them. Yeah, the the London Dairy uh, Fire Brigade. I don't even know if that was came in the states, but the Bush Bush Fire Brigade. So if you got one of those, let me know. Otherwise, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little. Uh, model recap of what I've got for these models just a totally cool little treat uh, I like to see them in the box how they came and I like to see them loose alrighty that's it guys remember slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day